Hey, good morning, everybody. On behalf of the City Commission, I'm Al Menard, Leesburg City Manager, and I welcome you to our Leesburg Community Center groundbreaking. I'm going to say about going on five years ago, the City commissioned to study the Venetian Gardens Master Plan Redevelopment Plan. And uh, from that plan, we identified several things that we wanted to do. And the number one was uh, to to bring and, and ensure and revitalize that Leesburg was a great place to live. We, you know, we always work on making it a, a great place to work, a great place to be, but life's quality of life issues was a, a, a big issue for the city and continues to be. We've been uh, working on vision statements and these type of things. So we set out about four years ago to focus on different areas of the community and throughout that time we've slowly made successes. Um, and then we started out on Venetian Gardens. As a city manager, it was a, it was a, it was a cool task because the commission always asked, we want to do all these things, but you're not going to spend any money. And if you do, you're going to do it wisely. And I think one of the greatest things about today is we've accomplished a number of things in the past several years, and we've done it fiscally wisely. Um, many times communities open up cities like this because they just punch their credit card. And today I'm really proud to have a ceremony today like this to tell you that we're here building about an $8 million facility and it's already paid for. So I think that shows the commission's vision and leadership to not only redevelop stuff, but to do it in a way that's affordable and reasonable and still has humongous impact. So with that, I welcome you to our groundbreaking. I want everybody to know that you are sitting about in the front door of the new community center. Actually, it's a little bit back, but the, the community center, if you can tell from the pictures, will essentially sit right in this area with the front facing the east and the back will look out on this marvelous view that I think Leesburg's so proud of. So once the facility is done, I think Venetian Gardens will will reemerge as a, a, a destination place in Lake County, some place that people will want and, and come to Leesburg and see all the things that we have here to offer in our community. With that, I'd like to recognize a few people. Like I said, it's been a, um, a few years and this is a, a great day to start the new construction. But the first folks I'd like to recognize is the city commission who really had the vision to start this project and, and it was from the commission that dictated getting these projects done. So with that, I'd like to introduce the mayor, Dan Roebuck. Hey. Mayor Pro Tem, John Christian. Commissioner Bob Hurley. This is Bob Hurley and Jay Bone. <laughs> so, uh, I also like to recognize a couple of people, and we'll keep it brief this morning before the storm hits in. But always putting together a team like this is is really hard. So there's a few people that I have to recognize. I know I'm going to miss a couple, but um, the first and foremost, and he doesn't want to be recognized. He's insubordinate at times. Um, he'll come in my office, yell at me. And even though I'm his boss, I still do, do what he says. And generally, he doesn't let that go to his head. And that's DC Model. DC is our public works director. And, and many of these projects that you've seen around the community, it's really uh, DC doing it, me yelling and screaming in my office, figuring out how I don't get in trouble for it, and then DC getting it done. That's really how it works around City Hall. Um, also, a design team was put together. Of, of George uh, Borelli, who's not here, but I know Ross Piper is. Will you, will you stand up, Ross? Ross, is, Ross, is, Ross works for George. Ross is the ma mastermind behind a lot of these design schemes and putting together our crazy ideas and actually saying, oh, that could work. So all the pictures and renderings and all that stuff you see here. Once uh, the commission says they want these things and DC puts it together, then I also think it's important to recognize the construction team, and that's Evergreen Construction. Mark, will you put your hand up? We've worked with Mark now on a couple of projects. Uh, Evergreen has, has, has worked fantastic with the, the city in the past. I'm excited to work with them on this project as well. And he has a great team as well. Uh, with, with the with the folks that that are are, are with him, they're they're in your program, but um, need to need to talk about them a little bit. Uh, we got Robert Hamilton, 
and Gil and John and Richard, all part of the, the Evergreen team. So they're the ones who are going to be making this really happen in the next 12 months for the opening. So hopefully we're back here July 4th for the, for the ribbon cutting. Also, I wanted to point out another partner. One of the visions the city commission had was not only to, to make um, the Venetian Gardens and Dojo Circle area a recreational spot and a passive recreational spot, we also wanted to make it an extension of downtown by creating a destination place and, and um, putting different items in the basin that will attract people but still work in harmony with the residential communities that's around. Towards that end, we came up with the plan to, to put in a restaurant and a couple of pad sites. And so I'd like to introduce as well Thad Boyd. Um, Thad Boyd with Boyd Development. Thad, Thad will be behind us hopefully in a couple of months he, uh, building a restaurant that'll sit out <laughs> on the basin and also be an important part of, of this harmony we're trying to build here on Dozer Circle. Um, I know there's a few other people I forgot. I gotta point out Leah Connor as well. Leah's important because when you walk into the building, Leah and Ross really worked hard to put together some interior design schemes. So we'll save that for the, the ribbon cutting when you get to see that work. Uh, so with that, I'd like to ask the city commission um, to say a few words. And so we'll, we'll just go from the mayor and then we'll go alphabetically from there. Thank you. Well, uh, as Al said, it's a really exciting project. And I think the one group that he didn't mention, and uh, that is, is dating back to when this all first started, actually before I was even on the commission, and uh, we hired uh, Greg Belva with LPG to come in, and in the old community building, we did a series of weekend uh, charrettes where we had the community come in and rank their priorities. And and while they're not all there, I think that this, this plan is a real reflection of, of that. And, and so uh, so thank you, you know, every, everyone in the community that gave their input. That was very valuable. And, uh, and then the other thing is, is that, uh, you know, I think that our staff did such a great job is, and, and Al, uh, dealing with, with the commissioners, it's, I imagine, a little bit like herding cats. I'm sure there's one thing on this plan different for all four of us that we say we absolutely hate. Um, and we had a lot, a lot of discussions about this. And, uh, but it, it's really, you know, that's what makes, uh, I think, local government so well, is we came up with a compromise plan that got everyone a little bit of what they wanted and, and uh, a facility that, that balanced uh, fiscal responsibility with having a first-class facility that everyone can be proud of and and uh, just very excited for this project I think it's gonna be a great great step forward for, for Leesburg and glad to see uh, us continuing to improve thanks Thank Mayor Roebuck for his comments. He stole most of my ideas and thoughts because this was a collaborative effort and we all did not get what we wanted. I want to commend um, Jerry Hurley when he came to the commission. He was so irritable about Venetian Guards and doing something that the commission rallied and we worked together um, to do this project. I'd like to say to all your, your neighbors and friends who may say something about this project, just simply tell them to wait about three years before they complain or say something negative. Um, because I think it's going to be the, the best things that happen in Leesburg in a very long time. And I'm already telling people about the restaurants that they can take their wives and girlfriends to and just eat on the lake. So, Mr. Boyd, thank you uh, for making my dream come to that I don't have to go to Orlando or Tavares to eat on the water. Um, and to Al and our staff for, for doing an $8 million project that is paid for, um, take care of our employees, and I think make Leesburg a great place. I can remember catching my first shiner off that, that, um, that bridge there. And, and so as I look at Venetian Garden, look at how it has transcended and how it has become a, a very important piece of Leesburg history. And I just left the Board of County Commission who were discussing a divisive issue. I said, I'm going to go to Leesburg where we're doing positive, inclusive things that the entire city and the county can be proud of. So again, hats off to, to a wonderful city. I'm proud to be a commissioner and a resident of Leesburg, Florida. Thank you very much. Morning. Al called me right before and said, uh, I want you to say something with all the other commissioners. And so it caught me a little bit by surprise. So uh, I'm glad to be here this morning. This is a, a great day um, to see uh, a new facelift here on Venetian Gardens. Um, 
when Tiffany and I came, and I, I, I know I talk about us moving here all the time, but I'm just proud that we moved to Leesburg and that we picked Leesburg as a place to live and come into. We weren't planning on raising a, a little family when we came here, but we ended up doing that, and uh, and and I'm just proud that we uh, that we picked this city to uh, to come and to live. In fact. Our first little house that we we still have is just right across the street over there and um, off Hanson and, and Fourth Street. And when we moved here, I, we got a couple of Labradors. We we're going to have I was going to have dogs instead of kids. And so we had a couple of labs, and I'd, I'd um, get on the bicycle and run over here and and run them around the park. And it's just a beautiful park. Um, the Martin Luther King Island behind us here, and the memorial to him, and the um, the words of wisdom that are uh, engraved on the ground there. It's just, and and everything here is just a great. Um, asset to Leesburg and to Lake County, and I'm proud to uh, to be part of this city and to be um, to see what's going to happen here in Venetian Gardens to take it forward in the future and for it to continue to be a, a great um, park for everyone here in Central Florida. And I think it's an attraction that will help our property values. It will help our um, to, to attract people to come here and live. I want to thank everyone who's worked on this project. Um, all their names have been mentioned. There's a lot of work that's gone into this, and the commissioners that were here um, in the early you know before. Uh, Mayor Roebuck and I were on the commission that uh, set things in motion to uh, to make these changes to the park. You've uh, it was a great vision to do this, and I look forward to many continued uh, growth and opportunities here with the restaurant and, and other things that will be coming. Thank you. Good morning. I think of. Uh, of everybody that's here, I'm probably one of the most excited ones to be here today. Uh, you know how Facebook is, is, is just a great thing, right? It always reminds you of things in the past. Uh, some of those are great memories, and some you go, man, I remember that day. Well, today, one of my Facebook posts was uh, six years ago today, I was walking the streets of Venetian, uh, not Venetian cars, the streets of Leesburg, and I was campaigning, going door to door, trying to get people support. And I'm very glad to say this year I don't have to do that or ever again because my term will be up. Looking back, I, I, I was going through some of my cards when I was campaigning, and I campaigned on three um, aspects that I really wanted to address. And one of those was Venetian Gardens. And uh, when I got elected, I remember we started out very small. Um, there were several people in the community that got on board, helped us put businesses that would had the ability to trim trees. We cleaned out the canals. Uh, we did all kinds of just flower bed, lifting this and that, and, and it was just the beginning. And then as we began to grow, the community began to get on board and support that. A lot of the community leaders got together and saw the value to it. Then we reached out and uh, we were time to get a new city manager and we hired Al Minner. I'll never forget when I was interviewing him, he said a lot of things that went over my head because he talked about electric and utilities and stuff I didn't really know about. But I said, Al, I said, how do you uh, how do you feel about doing another waterfront project? Because he had had great success in Sebastian doing that for them. And he said, uh, oh, that's a great idea. And I hope he still believes that today. But uh, he said, it's a great idea. And I said, well, what do you think the success will be of that project if we do it? How do you think that that will help the community? And he began to go into uh, what he felt would be the the, the, the aspects that would really lift us, and that was bringing another aspect to our quality of life. It would help us when we uh, begin to look around at growing our economy, the features that that would bring. And uh, we started talking about the pride that it would restore in Leesburg and the quality of life that we would have here for generations to come. And so we have embarked on that. And then, as you know, the next big hurdle was getting the commission that could get on board. And uh, as they've already spoken, a couple of them are new. Uh, in their first term, but what a breath of fresh air that turned out to be because I would say uh, after visiting a lot and working a lot with different commissions, we probably have one of the best uh, commissions that work together to accomplish goals. And we had a commission that had uh, a, a vision and they saw the, uh, the need, were willing to put in the hours and the hard work to make it happen. And so here we are. And, and for us and the city staff to be able to sit here today and say we're doing a project like this, if you look at all the other things that we've already done and we're doing it without borrowing money, without raising taxes, and I, we all say that because that's one of the things we're probably most proud of. We're doing a major project that the next uh, commission and the one after that for the next 30 years is not going to be trying to figure out how to pay for. And so when you look at phase one, which was, you know, putting the, the iron fences up and 
put in the splash pad and the playground and then phase two which is almost complete over on ski beach putting in the new ski areas and uh you know paving the road and sidewalks and all that and then phase three a year from now fourth of july right guys fourth of july we are going to have some kind of celebration here as we look at the completion of revitalizing it the thing that was so important to me was i moved here in 1988 and as a young man, when I came here, Venetian Gardens is where you hung out on the weekends. And I remember back uh, thinking, wow, what a community, because you would come over here to Ski Beach, you couldn't hardly find a place to park, and then you didn't have to know people who had boats. They would just go around and around, you would just say, hey, I want to ski, and when one guy fell off, they'd pull up, you'd get on their boat and just take off. And it was just a community atmosphere. We played touch football and frisbee and volleyball and all these activities. And then as things happened and decisions made, that kind of died and went away. But when I moved here, Venetian Gardens was referred to as the Jewel of Leesburg. And so our whole aspect when we were campaigning was let's restore Venetian Gardens to the Jewel of Leesburg, a new destination, a place where brings us back on track for the community, brings us back on track because, believe it or not, contrary to what you may hear outside of Leesburg, Leesburg is number one in Lake County. And if you don't live here, I feel sorry for you, but we do have housing coming soon for your benefit. But uh, we were always the prime city of Leesburg, and we were wanting to be that again, and I think we're on track. So for all of those of you that from the very beginning saw the need and the vision of that, it's been a long, hard journey. It's been a lot of work. But for those of you in the community, even the partnership who, I don't know how they do it, every event finds 200 volunteers just to care to participate with us on different things to our Chamber of Commerce and downtown merchants who bought into all this, for all of you who showed up to all those meetings, given us ideas, would let us argue and back and forth and not get mad and quit, kept coming back and saying, okay, let's find a new way to do it. To our wonderful city staff and my great commissioners and mayor that I work with, I just want to say a great big thank you so very much for your vision and understanding how to take Leesburg another step forward and turn in the corner. Give yourselves a hand, you deserve it. God bless. We're going to move into the next phase here. So everybody's described all the work that's gone in, but we've got um, 365, not quite 365 days left of real hard work. So the first thing is we need to break ground on this great facility. So um, will, the, the, will these people come up? We're going to come over here. Everybody's got to don a hard hat, grab a shovel, and take a picture. So please, members of the city commission, I need also need Ross. The next group of pictures is going to recognize all the city staff that worked on this. So I need, I need to get DC, Al, Brandy, Jim, Andy, Ken, Dan, Jonah, Pam. Pam's not going to work. Come on up. Here. 